us for just just one minute, then I'm going to indulge all the way to where I'm going. But welcome back to the 675LT. So today is a bit of a quirky take on what would be a conventionally boring topic, and that is new tyre day. Now, the LT is currently sitting on Pirelli Trofeo R tyres. They've been phenomenal, fantastic for track days, uh, and they've been also been a great road tyre, but they are a sort of track biased road tyre. And right now, we're heading into winter, and it's pretty crap, and also, I've got a fairly last minute road trip planned. And the way that I'm going is only gonna get worse. We're definitely gonna have rain. We're definitely gonna have just bad conditions. And did you see the speed of that Audi? We're definitely gonna have just bad conditions. <laughs> just to give you some context for that Audi, I'm currently sat at 70. This is a 70 road. Uh, yeah, so that Audi just uh, went past me at a good 110 miles an hour. Anyway, I have a last minute road trip planned. And where I'm heading is only gonna be worse conditions than it is here. It's definitely gonna be wet, greasy, potentially snowy. Um, and I thought it's about time that we put some proper shoes on the LT. Now, you can't just go to your general quick fit and have some new tires put on this car. It's not everyone who stocks them. And so, me having this last minute trip and wanting some last minute tires hasn't planned out quite as I wanted. However, speaking with McLaren, they very kindly put me in direct contact with Pirelli themselves, which just so happened to have a base in the UK where they've got their sort of UK fitment facility. And so they've said, if anyone's gonna have them, it's the guys that actually make them, why don't you go right there? So McLaren put me in touch with Pirelli, very kindly. And yeah, and so I'm heading there now to get some new uh, winter tires fitted to the LT. So just like you, I have no idea what's coming up right now. This was a very last minute video. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's drop some cogs and hit it. Dan, Hello. what's your official role here? I'm the technical. Technical, yes. and we are getting technical right we now. Are getting I'm very learning technical. something. So this is the first time that I've actually had the wheels and tires off the LT. And, and straight away, Dan's pointed out two things. First thing is, I've got a big hole in, <laughs> in my arch here. See this here, yeah, big nice hole there. We think that was from when I was doing the drag race against the 918. Uh, we reached like 190-ish, because on that day it was really hot and I think it picked up some chunky stone, right. and we think it's just gone bang through the eyes. But also, it's the first time I've seen the carbon discs on this, and Dan was just telling me something interesting about these. Carbon discs on a conventional road car with normal metal discs, yeah. they would have just a minimum thickness, which you would measure. Obviously, if it's below that, they would require replacing. Yeah. With carbon discs, they also have a minimum weight so they will be weighed, and if they're below that weight, yeah. they need replacing That's due really to the excessive heat. Yeah. So when, okay. when the car's being serviced, the technicians would then check the thickness, and then if there's yeah. any doubts there, they would then weigh and uh, be able to make wow. a decision so replacement. the whole disc would actually come off and Absolutely. they would weigh it. Yes. And if it's not at optimum if, weight? If they, if they were unhappy with the, with the thickness, yeah. each manufacturer does have different rules and procedures, Sure. Um, but certainly with this one, it, it would be weighed to justify replacement. Learn something every day. That's awesome. Yeah, brilliant, man. So what's the general process then? When someone brings a car like this here, what's the overall process? A minute ago, we just driven it on to the alignment. Yes. So we, we would, first experience. of all, we would check the treads first of all. This is yes. cool. This is yes. really, really cool. So am I right in thinking that when you drive in, when you drive in, this amazing we, li we, here. Li we line the car up, yeah. and as you can see, there are lasers and lasers there. Yeah. They're sending out beams, so the car drives over, and it takes a snapshot of not only the tyre and the treads, yeah. um, or the tread depths, but the actual tread pattern of the tyre as well, depending on what tyre you, 
you've yeah, got. Yeah, you've got. And the next stage then yeah. is to perform a very quick, very snapshot, fast snapshot, snapshot of, of where the car is in yeah. terms of alignment. So okay. what we do Check is we thing. very quickly attach one of these to each wheel. Yeah. Once we have these on, mm -hmm. we then go back to the screen. Yep. It will ask us to just push the car forward yep. approximately about a foot. Okay. And that then will give us a snapshot of where cool. the car is in terms of wheel alignment. So essentially, from five minutes of driving in this door, yes. you've got we've, snapshot of your tyre condition we've got and everything snapshot we need. of your alignment. Yes. Within like... Within a few minutes. Within a few minutes. Pretty ideal. <laughs> Pretty cool. So it, sa yeah. it, sa it saves us a lot of hassle. Absolutely, it's, yeah. It's, I'm having a lot of fun. Fantastic <laughs> it's really piece of Yeah, it's so good. Check out how this looks like self-checkout at Tesco, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, and then, assuming everything's all good, yes. we're now back to in, car and the checking it. Car in, car in. Yep. We've got an idea now of the work that we're going to do. Okay. So from there, the wheels come off that are required. Yeah. If we're not doing all the tyres, we will safety check the front one, so a visual inspection for any cuts, lumps, okay, bulges, sure. bumps. Yeah things like that, really? they will then be removed. We follow our procedures, okay. everything's done by hand, there are no yeah. guns or anything here. We make sure we clean everything, yeah. the hubs, the yeah. wheels themselves, well, where they fit onto the car. I have to say, the last time that I had wheels changed, it was a bit of a backstreet operation. It was greasy, it was loud. To be honest, I wasn't too confident taking the car there, but okay. it needed tires. Um, driving here, today, I wasn't sure what to expect. Yes. Never had so much fun checking out tires. It's just. Look at this place, it's so cool. I mean, it's just a really nice, clean, quiet environment, some real sci-fi tech happening in the... Yes, right? This one Robocop because of the way it looks. I mean, just across the look top, at it. it's just mad, isn't it? And again, all of these are plastic, so you don't scratch any of the absolutely the alloys. Absolutely, everything has sensors, so That's if amazing. it comes in contact with the metal, yeah, then uh, it Very will cool. stop. So again, okay. everything then we do on screen. Okay. Uh, we don't get involved at all once we've secured it to the machine. We just touch the screen. The machine does all the hard work for us. That's ideal. Yes. It's the kind of product that, I mean, let's face it, most people don't enjoy having to swap Indeed. a tire. Indeed. But I'm sure, and I'm not just speaking about this because I'm here. Yeah. But the importance, because it doesn't matter how good your car is, ultimately, Tires. all of this tech, all of the, all the stuff that the car's been developed on, yes. the last and final point of contact is through the tyres. Are the tyres. You've got to get it right. And absolutely. Get, you know. Absolutely. It's really important, especially with cars which are capable of these Yes. And it's, uh, yeah, so when, when you've got tyres that are designed to fit the car, to yeah. fit one specific model, yeah, yeah. you only need so, to get that right. But secondly, yeah. even the fitting procedures yes. can be vital yeah. and can, can have some nasty yeah. effects if, if things go wrong. Yeah. I think as well it's often overlooked that a tyre is specifically developed for a car. It's yes. not just, oh, you've got a you know, P0, let's stick it on a, on a Porsche, stick it on a, a Lambo. They have specific P0s for specific cars. And what you wouldn't notice yeah. is that if you were to take all the rubber off the tyre, and yes. different, each one would look would inside imagine, yeah. the internals. The weight distribution, take a 911, for example. Yes. Engines way over the back, different load bearings. Again. You know, so those tyres are going to be developed specifically for that Completely car. different handling, stopping, yeah, yeah. straight line characteristics. Yeah. So again, we, we so would don't change skimp the on tyres. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Taken off now. These tires we've done 5,400 miles on these uh, two track days, drag race, and lots of spirited driving. Uh, yeah, and they're still good, they're still good to go. What's fantastic as well, particularly about having these on the 675LT, um, the car rides so flat uh, that yeah, the wear across them tends to be fairly even. And case in point, looking pretty good. All right, obviously, we just had the front wheel off. This is something you probably can't appreciate on camera, just how light these are, but these individual bolts are all titanium. Look at just written on there. 
obviously this is weird me showing you this on film, but how light these things are is absolutely incredible. They're just, they're kind of like, they feel like a one pound, like a one pound coin sort of weight. If that, isn't it, right? If they're that, so, it's like a, like a feather. It's just madness. So the last time I saw a set of these bolts, uh, they were on display in a McLaren showroom and they had their own little carbon fiber suitcase and every single bolt was sort of had its own little um, like foam slot Don't go to. <laughs> for, for, for a wheel bolt. Right then, tires on the car and we've opted for Soto Zero. Soto Zero right. 3, this Fantastic. is the latest high performance winter fitment okay. that we have. Now doing. I've never ran a full blown like winter tire. I've gone for the P0, okay. like, like, would you say it's that's like a sort of flagship like year round? ultra high performance tyre? Yes, okay. it's, sure, it's designed to be, it will work all year round, however. Sure. And then we say P0 is now a summer tyre. Okay. And then we have a designated okay. winter fitment. So Especially, I've never had this experience. A winter tyre on what is conventionally a pretty non winter car. Absolutely. Amazing that you've actually gone out of your way to develop a tyre yes. for, like, a winter tyre for a car like this, which you conventionally wouldn't class as a car that you're going to use all year round. Exactly. Yeah. But now these cars maybe aren't parked up yeah. all year round and people do want yeah. to use them all year. I'm number one couple so for that. There you go. go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. we, we've obviously worked with the manufacturers not just, just to make a yeah. winter tyre, yeah. but again, a winter tyre that's car. specific for the car. Awesome. Um, what have we got that. here then? So what we have, you mentioned P0 earlier, this is our yep. sort of ultra high performance summer tyre. Okay. What you'll notice straight away is that the tread blocks are really big, bulky, mm -hmm. cumbersome. Ideally, to get as much of the tyre on the ground as possible. You were running Trofeo on here. Yes. That's the sort of ultra, ultra sort of track inspired tyre. Yeah. This is the next stage down. Okay. So if you consider that one for summer, yeah. what you'll notice then is when you get to this one, yes. this is the uh, Sota Zero 3, and it's massively different to the one that you have here. Well, hugely, um, yeah. So what we've got straight away is you'll notice there are lots of different cuts and very intricate detailing across mm -hmm. the tread. Mm -hmm. um, those are called sipes. Now what they're meant to do in winter conditions is what they will do is allow the tyre to flex more to start with. Okay. So if you imagine you don't become an ice hockey puck skimming across the surface, the tyre is actually moving and staying with the sort of standard footprint as much as it possibly can. Also, all these little sipes here uh -huh. in snow conditions will squeeze you together and actually retain snow. So if you were to watch this tyre going round in snow conditions, mm -hmm. the whole tread would look white. Right. Which blows everything out of the water compared well, to normal driving. Absolutely. So I think it's a, a misconception with snow tyres that you want to displace snow. Absolutely. You actually want to You want it. to retain as much yeah. snow as possible. Because snow on snow is where the actual exactly. friction happens. Right? When, when you build a snowman, you don't yep. have to really make any effort. You roll yeah, your little ball, yeah. and you just push it. Yeah. With no effort, the so snow breaks snow. you want to retain snow. as much snow as you possibly so can. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, also, okay. you know, it's, <laughs> it's now, it's not just a tyre for snow. Yeah. This is for when seven degrees things start to change okay. with the compounds and everything. Yes. And whereas your summer tyre would become slightly harder, maybe a little bit more sort of plasticky. Whereas this sure, one then yeah. remains supple and again gives you that so, nice even footprint. In, so yeah. you've got better braking, you've yeah. got better traction, handling characteristics, everything. So it Mad. just doesn't need to be snow. Even wet conditions, this one will stop you in the colder conditions. Yeah. This one will bring you to a halt Ideal. so much better. Very important in this. Exactly. <laughs> it's yes. like this. Absolutely. It's not, yeah, I mean, that doesn't right. mean to say that this tire is going to make it just no, sure. like in the middle of summer. But it's going to be better. But it's Absolutely. going to allow yeah. you to drive the car, enjoy the car. Always, get, always and, a good thing. And have the confidence yeah, that you can take it out in those conditions. Now, we've obviously got to jump in this car and check out what these new tires are like compared to the old ones in the LT. Let's hit it. Very first turn of the wheel, and I say very first, I haven't even left the building yet. Very first turn of the wheel on these new Soto Zeros. These guys, I'll tell you what, everyone here has been incredibly helpful and they love it. They love the cars here. Now obviously this place is d designed to have a much better tyre fitting experience. It, to be honest, it's not something I'd ever really thought about. Uh, you know, I'm quite the culprit for thinking, oh, I've got to have new tires fitted, what a chore. But it's because I've been to places which aren't that inspiring, but this place is awesome. Now then, first turn of the wheel on tarmac. 
I'm not expecting game-changing results at this speed, but I guess as soon as we start to flow through corners, Dan back there, he was saying that maybe under speed and under load, you might find that because this has actual tread blocks, whereas the, well, Trofeos don't, <laughs> um, you might find a little bit more roll, but it'll be fine, it'll be all good. What this has actually inspired me to do is, rather than just being in an environment where it's damp and a bit just generally crap, I actively want to go and hunt some snow. I, I want to take this to Verbier and just drop it in the center and just have a drive about and see. Honestly, driving, driving here, I thought, am I gonna be able to make a video that's interesting? I hope you found it interesting, because me being there, every step, I was just like, whoa, it's stuff you don't think about when applying such a simple thing. But I've always been a big believer in not skimping on tires. There's, my friends are a nightmare for it. They'll be like, oh, you know, I know this tire was developed for this car, but these guys do one that's 20 pound cheaper. I'm like, yeah, but you might end up in the hedge, <laughs> you know? So what's really important to remember is that tires are developed for specific cars, not just applications, specific cars. So while this tire is the um, Soto Zero brand, this is the Soto Zero specifically for the 675 LT, which is fantastic that Pirelli have gone out of their way to make a winter tire for a car. They only made 500 of these cars. And, well, let's face it, a very, very small percentage of them are actually going to be used in conditions that demand this kind of tire. So, well done, Pirelli, for enabling me to use my car all year round without putting it in a ditch. But the number one thing that I'm noticing right now is the road noise. This is definitely a quieter tyre. Without doubt, there is less road noise right now, and I'm hoping you guys are gonna benefit from that, at least for the next few months until the weather picks up again and we can stick it back on some sticky, grippy Trofeo Rs. But yeah, road noise is less. So the main idea as well is the reason we put these tyres on, we're gonna go on a McLaren road trip very soon and explore the fact that you can use these cars all year round. But until then guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!